go over a couple of microscope things with you guys. Uh, one of the first things to do with your microscopes in this lab is to make sure they're plugged in. So you've got these things on your benches and then you want to make sure it's actually plugged into a socket on the floor. If one doesn't work for some reason, just try another socket, just go one over. Uh, so you should be able to plug it in and turn it on and you should see a light coming out of the light source. The stage, this flat thing where we're going to put the slide, the stage is going to move up and down with these big knobs. So these big knobs are what we call the coarse focus, okay? and then the little knobs are called the fine focus. So we always want to put our stage all the way down before we put a slide on. And then we've got all our slides laid out in these folders. And so when you open them up, so for instance, they've got on there dense irregular connective tissue, loose adipose connective tissue, and stratified squamous keratinized epithelial tissue. So all of these tissue types are going to be visible on one of these slides because they're slides of the skin. So if I open it up, I'll be able to see these laminated cards. So they give me an example of what the tissue will look like and then they tell me what I'm looking at. And then remember we also had our stratified squamous epithelial tissue. So they've got a separate card for that. So this shows you what you should be seeing in these slides. So if I take one of these slides, I want to make sure I can see the specimen really well. It tells me what it is. And then I'm going to put it on the stage. This is a little clip where we secure it. And then we're going to move our slide so that that specimen is right over top of the light. And so you can move your slide back and forth and sideways with these positioning knobs on the right side of the stage. Then I'm going to use my coarse focus, my big knob, and I'm going to move it up until I start to see something through the eyepieces. Once I see something, I'm going to make it even more clear by using my fine focus. Okay, so most of these microscopes have a little pointer in there and you can move the pointer by turning this eyepiece. The eyepiece is going to magnify everything 10 times. And then the objective, this little silver tube, this is my low mag objective, that's going to magnify things four times. So my total magnification would be 40. So you always want to start on your lowest objective, the one with the red line, the 4x. Once everything looks good, I can go up in magnification. So I'm not going to mess with my knobs anymore. I'm just going to go over here to my next objective, the one with the yellow line. This is a 10x objective. Now if I look through, things are going to be a little bit blurry. But I'm not going to touch my big knob, my coarse focus again. I'm only going to move my fine focus knob. And so I'm going to do that until the image looks clear again. And then if I want to go even bigger, the biggest magnification we're using is this 40x objective with the blue line. Okay, so once again, once it looks good in there, I'm not going to mess with my focus. I'm just going to slide it over. It's going to be a little bit blurry. So I'm going to use my little fine focus knob. To, to look at it in a sharper image. Okay. And once again, you can move the positioning knobs and look around within the slides. You can look at different parts of the tissue. And then when you're done looking at it, you always wanna go all the way back to your low magnification, okay? Um, put the stage all the way back down because we've gotta start back down here to look at the next slide. And then you can just pull it out. Okay, so we want to make sure all the slides stay in their appropriate boxes and when you're done looking at them, if you're the last person in here, just set the cards back in there so it's nice and neat for everybody else. Okay, um, one thing about these objectives, this one with the black and white, we're going to stay away from this one because it requires oil. So whatever you do, don't let that one grind against the slide because it'll scratch it up if we're not using oil. So we're really just going to focus on the red, the yellow, and the blue. Okay, so those are our main objectives. If you guys get stuck or have any questions, definitely send me an email and we'll get it sorted out.